This is amazing. We're in the suit-up room. I mean, I remember this back in 2009 when I was sitting in Lazy Boys from back in the Apollo era, but they have these really cool new suits and new seats that they're they're working in here. So Yeah, it's so amazing to see this first live look in the room. There's astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley sitting in those seats, um, being helped by the suit technicians. Uh, this room was first used for the first Apollo mission, Apollo 7, um, that they suited up in there in 1968. And there they are, uh, giving a thumbs up that looks like Doug giving a thumbs up there oh here they come oh, here they are here wow. they come NASA astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley they've each made this journey twice before for the space shuttle missions but they've never done this in a SpaceX spacesuit they've never done this together and they've never done this on their way to head to a commercially built rocket and spacecraft to head to space Where they, I was looking Yeah. So right now what the crew, the, the suit technicians are doing is they're strapping the crew's feet into these restraints that the boots sit inside of. They're then going to close those five-point harnesses um, around them. I know, Leland, you talked about some of the, the harnessing that you had in the past with the shuttle. Yeah, I mean, this is such a more sleek design where there's one point to plug in to get cooling, communications, and, and everything. And, I, you know, we had a five-point harness. We, you know, had these hoses and things all over the place, but I think this is a much more streamlined uh, look into the future of space. How did the first stage of the Falcon 9 feel compared to the shuttle when it was on solid? How did the second stage feel? Uh, you, you made it sound like maybe it was a little rougher than the shuttle on the main engines. Uh, and just wondering if there was ever a point in there when you looked over at Doug and went, wow, this isn't quite what I was expecting. Well, Bill, you took the words right out of our mouth. The summary from uh, yesterday was good, uh, smoother uh, first stage. A little rougher second stage than we saw on shuttle and that I think both of us were expecting. We did actually comment on it uh, while we were going uphill. I think we tried to verbalize as much of the new experiences we were having just to make sure they were for real between the two of us. We are sensing the same things. Hi, thanks for taking my question. Stephen Clark from Space Flight Now. Uh, just to follow up on that, uh, what was the sensation at Nico and at stage separation since that's something that 
was not experienced really doing shuttle to shut down the engines and then ignite a new engine in flight. I'm also curious about how your experiences were with the spacesuits in flight. Thank you very much. Uh, I think the question was uh, about the difference with uh, staging between the space shuttle and the Dragon, since we didn't shut down the main engines on the space shuttle, uh, like we went through for first stage and second stage. There was a significant difference between the solid rocket boosters on the shuttle and that second stage, and so I think we all definitely felt that separation and heard the clunk associated with it. Uh, Doug and I both uh, commented on, I think Doug commented on it first, that uh, we did feel some uh, early zero G when we came off of the first stage and uh, we're getting ready to transition to the uh, second stage and then we felt that uh, second stage uh, light. Hey guys, it's Chris Davenport from the Washington Post. Thanks for taking the time and congrats on your flight and I'll try not to leave you hanging this time. Um, to follow up on Bill and Stephen's question about the ride, I wonder if you can walk us through, you know, some of the technological differences between shuttle uh, that led to the difference in the experiences and then maybe a little bit more of what were some of the key moments during the ascent phase that stood out to you guys. Thank you. Hey, Chris, good to talk with you. Um, I think just generically, the Falcon 9 is a liquid-fueled rocket. Remember, shuttle had solid rocket boosters to start with. Those burned very rough for the first two and a half minutes. The first stage with Falcon 9 were the nine Merlin engines and roughly the same amount of time, and it was a much smoother ride, obviously, because it was a liquid engine uh, ascent at that point. Where the differences started for, I think, both Bob and I, and we commented on it uh, at the moment, was at staging, and it was very similar to what you saw in the Apollo 13 uh, movie where they staged from first to second stage. So the first stage engine shut off and then it takes a second, almost a second, might, might have been less than that, but it seemed like it took, took some time between the uh, booster separating and then the Merlin vacuum engine starting. And so at that point we go from roughly three Gs to zero Gs for, I don't know, half a second probably. And then when that Merlin vacuum engine fires, then we uh, start accelerating again uh, for the next five, six minutes until we uh, achieve orbit. So totally different than shuttle. Uh, you know, it was smooth. It got a little rougher, as Bob had mentioned before, with the Merlin vacuum engine. And, and, and it'll be interesting to talk to the SpaceX folks to find out why it was a little bit rougher ride on second stage than it was for shuttle on those three main engines.